Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and untold stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today we bring you news. Catherine and the royal women steal the spotlight in the best tiara moment on the royal engagement as the fashion admirers drop their jaws to their glamour. Seeing the royals in public is a certain way to liven up any event. We can't get enough of the 20 different royal outfits and Princess Catherine's finest jewellery. Wearing anything of a royal family's famous historical and distinctive crowns. However, it renders every occasion seem more majestic. Various diadems, some with deep national histories and others bequeathed by dignitaries and international of the highest ranking are among the tiaras that the British and European royal households hold. Here we take a closer look at a few of some of the most remarkable and captivating examples. The Tiara of Ireland and the Girls of Great Britain the British and Irish girls for an unforgettable supper, honouring the coronation of King Charles III and her own needs. Queen Camilla donned the tiara for the initial time. The crown is among some of the most iconic in the royal vaults, and they're secure, so it has to be anticipated. It was the actual start of the new age. However, from whom did the crown originate? The gem was bestowed on Princess May of Tech in 1893 by the future monarch George IV. The tiara was bestowed to Mary as a marriage present to her granddaughter and Queen Elizabeth II in 1947. The tiara was worn by Elizabeth for her initial formal picture as queen following the death of her dad at the young age of 56. According to a pattern fashioned by her grandmother, Princess Augusta of Hesse, Queen Mary ordered the renowned jewellery business Garrard to make this crown in 1913. It's known to historian as the Cambridge Lovers Knot tiara. Princess Catherine often wears this piece, which was a favourite of Princess Diana's and has 19 diamond arcs adorned with pearls suspended below. The moniker, the Lover's Knot Bow, comes from the work of the diamond inclusion of the bow's pattern. Cartier Halo Tiara The Cartier Halo scroll tiara possesses a particular position in the royal household. Many individuals now recognise it because of the stunning headpiece that William and Catherine wore on their marriage ceremony. Just a few months before, of his 1936 ascension to the throne, George VI had the Cartier create the tiara for his marriage partner. Then, on her 18th birthday, the Queen Mother was going to deliver it to Queen Elizabeth. There were 149 petite diamonds and 739 brilliant cut diamonds in it. The Grand Duchess Vladimir Tiara Formal photos and significant encounters with prominent figures such as President Barack Obama, as well as the Pope, made use of the Grand Duchess Vladimir Tiara, which had been reported as a favourite of the Queen who had passed away. Duchess Vladimir, a distant relative of the final Russian Romanov Tsar, is said for having possessed it. The tiara's origins are murky, but it ended up in Queen Mary's hands. She enhanced it by setting it alongside 15 emeralds that had previously belonged to her mother, Mary Adelaide, in an arrangement that could swap them out for the initial pearls. Queen Elizabeth II ordered it restored in 1988 with a new framing this time around. Additionally, there aren't numerous images of the deceased queen donning this tiara, the Nizam of Hyderabad, because it is now no longer in existence. The tiara, which had an arrangement influenced by English flowers and an accompanying chain, were wedding favours from the king, or Nizam of Hyderabad, who was one of the wealthiest men in the entire globe in 1947. Her Majesty, nevertheless, chose to destroy the artwork in 1973 in order to construct a fresh creation. Now, we may go to that point. Myanmar's Ruby Tiara a crown that had been presented to the deceased queen as her marriage present was the centerpiece in this particular request. The Burmese ruby tiara, crafted utilizing jewels that had been given to her as part of her wedding registry as well, were overseen by her. The 96 rubies set into the crown were bestowed to its inner Burmese, who held the belief that jewels ward off against various diseases. Grevrold Emerald Kokoschnik Tiara Following the firm that produced it, the tiara is commonly referred to as everyone of the Boucheron tiara. Dame Margaret Greville bequeathed it to her successor as Queen Mother in 1942. Princess Eugenie wore it more recently in 2018 when she got married to Jack Brooksbank. This 1919 diamond tiara, which was custom made for Mrs. Greville, is adorned with six sapphires on each of the sides and pave settings of dazzling and rose-cut diamond in a platinum metal. 
the tiara of Baltimore. The Baltimore tiara and this Princess Margaret wore exemplifies its owner's defiant and autonomous spirit. As opposed to borrowing an item out of the royal vault, the princess went out and bought her own one for the day of her marriage. She probably paid around £5,000 for the stunning item. However, it was resold for somewhat under £1 million when she passed away. The Fringe Tiara of Queen Mary In 1919, the pendant was fashioned from an imitation diamond collar that Queen Victoria had gifted to Queen Mary. It's believed that the breathtaking item, which was tapering diamonds embedded in silver and gold, was handmade. Princess Elizabeth's marriage ceremony was almost marred by a mishap involving this same tiara. Fortunately, the jeweler from Garrard was able to repair it, and the headpiece was subsequently donned at two more royal weddings, Princess Beatrice's to Eduardo Mappellanini in 2020 and Princess Anne's to Captain Mark Phillips in 1973. The Tiara of the Lotus Flowers the Queen Mother, Elizabeth Bowes Lyon, received the gemstone and pearls necklace in 1923 as a gift. With the help of Garrard, the gems obtained a new purpose when she had them altered to become a tiara. Princess Margaret, who often mixed antiques with the modern, received it from the Queen Mother and put it alongside an antique beehive from the 1960s, much as her mother had done before. A tiara which perfectly captures its wearer's rebellious and independence. The Baltimore tiara belonged to Princess Margaret. The princess decided not to borrow a piece from the royal vaults when it came to her wedding, deciding to go and buy her own instead. It's thought that she picked up this dazzling piece for around £5,000, but it would go on to resell for just under £1 million after her death. Queen Mary's Fringe Tiara it was originally made for Queen Mary in 1919 from a diamond necklace given by Queen Victoria. The stunning piece features tapered diamonds and is understood to have been set in gold and silver. It was also the very tiara which nearly led to the wedding day disaster for the then Princess Elizabeth. Luckily, the jeweler from Garrard could fix it, and the tiara was worn at other royal weddings since, including Princess Anne's 1973 wedding to Captain Mark Phillips and Princess Beatrice's 2020 wedding to Eduardo Mapelli. The Lotus Flower Tiara Originally given to Elizabeth Bowes Leon, the Queen Mother in 1923 as a diamond and pearl necklace, the jewels found a second life after she had it transformed into a tiara by Garrard. The Queen Mother then gave it to her daughter, Princess Margaret, who regularly merged the old with the new, combining the traditional trinket with the beehive of the 1960s. The York Diamond Tiara Sarah Ferguson is the kind to challenge norms. This represented an entirely novel tiara. In contrast to the usual fair scene at royal marriages, it was a daring decision for her heir apparent bride, but the Duchess of York donned it for her 1986 marriage to Prince Andrew even though it was barely visible behind her floral crown. It was believed that Sarah had purchased the tiara by Garrard on behalf of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip. Duchess Sophie's wedding tiara Sophie would have loved this understated tiara, simple, fragile because of the unobtrusiveness of it. The headgear, which the Duchess of Cambridge currently wears as her marriage present from Prince Edward, does not come with an official designation like conventional tiaras. It said that it may have been crafted from a different broken necklace or tiara. Queen Letizia's Fleur de Lis tiara Anyone can be a showstopper, not just the British royal family. Princess Victoria Eugenie of Battenberg, who's said to have been born in Britain, was married to King Alfonso XIII in 1906, and as a wedding present, she received several jewels, including this tiara. The Spanish royal jeweler, and Serena, has been responsible for its creation since 1860. It's reported to have 450 diamonds, plus 10 Australian pearls surrounded by platinum. The Six-Button Tiara, Sweden Diamond petals constitute the official name for the individual fashioners that comprise this tiara. Exquisite rosettes are the crown's crowning glory. King Carl XIV Johann, whose birth name had been Jean-Baptiste Bernadotte, wore them upon the day of his coronation in 1818. His influence is still deeply ingrained in the Swedish royal family, since he served as the initial monarch of the Bernadotte line. The Dutch queen Maxima proudly wears the Stuart tiara, a breathtaking crown with its roots in England, which is admired throughout Europe. The Festoon Tiara as with numerous of the royal family's cherished possessions, the Princess Royal's own tiara possesses an unusual history. 
Princess Anne's first partner, Mark Phillips, presented her with the Festoon Tiara in 1973. The very same year, she tied the knot. The Hong Kong Company Worldwide Transportation Group presented it to the Royal Princess as a token of their gratitude for her role in the christening of one of their vessels. Anne has donned the tiara on a number of occasions, especially at official dinners, even though it does not seem to have the same illustrious background. In 2008, she gave her daughter-in-law Autumn Kelly, who was married to Peter Phillips, the tiara which made it much more meaningful. Thank you for viewing today's video. Which tiara moment with the Royal Women do you find the most memorable? Farewell for the time being, and please let us know of your ideas.